Welcome back to another tabletop review. This is something the likes of which you've not seen on the channel before. We've got the hog leg in from North American Arms, tabletop review and field strip coming up next on GB Guns. So North American Arms bought the rights slash design to the mini revolvers, uh, I believe in 78 or no, 78 was the original, 90 or so, and they bought the rights. And they've been cranking out quite a few neat little designs. This one is not necessarily new, but is new to us. And I've got it in for part of a magazine article that you'll see sometime probably in 2021. But uh, sometimes when I get stuff in to write articles, I like to show you guys here on the channel, uh, especially when it's something that's kind of unique and different. For example, how's this for a case, right? It comes in an actual lockable case and it has a little hole in it for running the cable through it. Very nice touch. We open it up and it did come originally wrapped in both of these, but uh, I had to touch it a bit. I mean, come on. Look at this thing. This is in 22 Magnum. This is the hog leg with a six inch barrel and it is tiny. It says to look underneath the foam for instructional manual and registration card. We can see we also have the keys for this box tucked in here. Take all that out. And it's your standard four color. These things do have a nice safety feature which is being highlighted with those arrows there. I'll show you more of that on the gun. All pretty simple. Let's get this out of the way and take a look at that. Hog For comparison's sake, here's another six inch barreled gun. This is a six inch 10mm 1911 from Rock Island. And here's the hawk leg. <laughs> this thing is tiny. Now, pretty cool guns. I got to shoot these at a rider event. First we'll show that it's clear. You can see into the cylinder there. And uh, I honestly thought these things were kind of more of a novelty than anything else. But when you take a look at what some of the ammunition out there is claiming, especially 22 Magnum, you're approaching 9mm energy. And this is a very thin, very easy to conceal, very lightweight, carry it anywhere kind of gun. Also just kind of fun in the uh, the Old West sense. Um, the hog leg, of course, comes from this shape down here, which gives it sort of an old black powder kind of styling to it. You do not have a trigger guard on this because it's single action only. Nothing happens when you pull the trigger from there. Got to bring the hammer all the way back. And of course, it is bad to dry fire rim fires. So I'm going to try to catch the hammer. Hold it about there. And it's a very crisp trigger, as you'd expect. Well, let's uh, let's do our walk around the gun, shall we? Our our look around things, and then I'll mention some features. I'm going to zoom way in to try to give you a better look at things. The uh, one thing that really impressed me is all of the joints have been very nicely finished. For example, the barrel is a different part than this frame of the receiver. You can kind of see where that step is, but everything's been ground flush. Same thing with the screws. Putting everything together is all nice and clean. So, um, to go over our basic features like we normally would, we've got an octagonal barrel that has the chrome on the sides and is matte on the top, which is great to cut down on reflection when trying to aim. A fixed front sight. Plenty of room for rail space, but <laughs> if you put any type of railed accessory on here, I'm sure it would greatly change the way things feel and handle. But look at that machining. Beautifully done. These are made in Utah. We've got some texturing on the trigger itself. Come on, camera, work with us. There you go. You can see some nice little texturing there. And uh, these beautiful grips. There are aftermarket grips available. 
And there's your sight system, if I can get the camera to focus on our front sight blade. There you go. And you're peering through a notch in the rear. Now it's a five shot, 22 Magnum. They also have 22 LR cylinders available for them. And you notice there's no loading gate and it's not a brake action. Loading and unloading is done in a rather curious manner. Not necessarily the quickest, but it works. You've got a little spring-loaded tab here. You pull down and bring that out. Just like on a black powder gun might have, except here we're pulling out the pin, and then our cylinder comes out to the right. There's the cylinder. And you can use this pin to tap out any brass that gets stuck. Now, of course, that depends greatly on the quality of the brass and the cleanliness of your cylinder. Uh, we'll see when we get to the range. We do have a handful of 22 mag rounds that we'll try out. Um, hard to say though if one brand sticking more than another is the brand or just how dirty or clean the cylinder is. But you see these notches here, that's for your hammer to rest between a cylinder so you're able to safely carry all five rounds. It also has a half cock safety. I'll remount this show you what I'm talking about. And this rod does have a flat spot right there. That's what goes up against the barrel. Tuck that in, close this back up, and we're back in action. So right there, as you can see, the firing pin is kept away from the cylinder. You can also rest it in its little notch. A little tricky to do, but uh, keeps things separate. But very handsome looking gun. Kind of fun. I'm really curious, uh, especially with being six inches, we're going to get uh, some decent velocity, I would assume, out of that 22 mag. And like I said, if you uh, take a look at the boxes, now most ammunition manufacturers use a target barrel or testing barrel that's of absurd and practical length um, when they state their velocities. But according to the boxes, some of that 22 mag is throwing out 9 mil levels of energy, which makes this somewhat viable as a backup gun. Six inch barrel is a little long, might make concealment or carry a little bit different than the rest of these mini revolvers would, but uh, we'll show you that in our uh, shooting impressions how well it fits into a pocket. I would be, of course, concerned about stuff getting in the barrel uh, or pocket lint jamming up the action, but it's a nice, crisp action there. Very nicely machined, handsome little piece. Uh, we're going to be covering a handful of these things for the magazine article. And uh, if you guys are interested, I'll show them all to you as they come in. But this was the first one, and when I shot this at the writer event, I found it to be pretty fun. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a neat neat concept to have um, such a little gun like this. The practicality, well, that's up to you. I mean, I've owned several firearms that do not have necessarily an application of and having fun. Um, although all firearms can be used as a tool. Um, should the needs need arise. Would you consider 22 mag as a carry option or what would you see using something like this for? I think it's kind of fun, certainly handsome, a um, whole lot lighter weight and easier to wield than your standard single action uh, Colt, things like that. But uh, neat little piece. Uh, when we get out to the range we'll do a somewhat of a mini what's for dinner for it. This is, of course, being filmed in 2020 during Great Ammo Crunch. Uh, there's not a lot of rounds out there for us to find. And if they are, they're um, approaching cost prohibitive for us. Keep in mind that we are not a paid channel and we don't sell you. We're not selling our audience. So we're not getting uh, as much... We don't have the same resources that uh, some of the other channels do. But we'll try a few different rounds through this uh, in the chronograph. See what kind of energies. Um, coming out of those and give you our impressions on it. But I think it's a handsome little piece, kind of a collector piece. 
Uh, these are currently, I've seen them online for under $300, which you know doesn't make them cost prohibitive. And the fact that they come with that really nice uh, hard case is a nice touch, and it's American made. Uh, there aren't a lot of cowboy styled guns out there made in the US, uh, let alone ones that are affordable. So big props to uh, North American Arms for doing that. Neat little piece, just wanted to show it to you uh, real quick and we'll get it up to the range and let you know our impressions with it. Thanks for watching.